Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to teach you how to play the Little Drummer Boy. It's an easy to play chord solo for ukulele in an open tuning. In a moment, I'm gonna break down how to transform your ukulele into a hypnotic open tuning. I'm gonna show you on high G, low G, and even baritone ukulele. This is an easy to play solo. I have become obsessed with this open tuning, and next year I'm gonna be launching an online course all about this tuning. It is so cool. I hope you can stick around for this entire video lesson. I'm gonna be showing the tablature right here on the screen, but if you would like to get a printable version of this solo, there are links in the video description below to get your copy. Once you get a handle on this open tuning, it is so, so fun to play. Let's get started right now. The standard tuning for ukulele is high G, C, E, A. Transforming this tuning is easy. What we're gonna do is we're going to lower the fourth and the third string down a minor third. We're gonna transform the tuning into E, A, E, A. Now on a high G, what you do is you pluck the open second string and then detune the fourth string until it is an E. And then we're going to pluck the open A string and detune the third string until it is an octave below. So fun to play. Low G tuned ukulele is G, C, E, A. Same game as before, pluck the E string and then lower the fourth string. This time it's going to be an octave below. On the high G string, it was the exact same pitch for the the third string, same game, pluck the high A string, and then lower your C until you have this open tuning. So fun to play. Keep in mind, as you detune the strings, they can take a little time to adjust, so check your tuning occasionally. Eventually, they will settle in this new tuning. Now, on the baritone, your standard tuning is D, G, B, E, same as the top four strings of a guitar. What you're gonna do is transform this into B, E, B, E. So pluck your second string, B, and detune the fourth string until it's an octave lower. You can, of course, do this with an electronic tuner or just use your ear. Then, same game as before, pluck the open E string and detune the third G string until it is an octave separate. And here it is in baritone. Sometimes I like to knock this down an entire step, so it's A, D, A, D. This right here is B, E, B, E. I love playing this tuning. I can't wait to launch my online course next year. Make sure you sign my mailing list down below in the video description if you'd like to keep in the loop of all the goodies I'm gonna be offering in 2022. Right now, let's get into learning Little Drummer Boy. I'm gonna take you through the solo phrase by phrase right now. The ukulele tablature available at the link below, there's actually two versions included. One of them has a more advanced ending and please know that this is meant to be an outline for you to ad lib and improvise around. Begins with the open strings. So you can start to make your own drumming rhythm. Happening here is I'm placing the melody on the first string. Come, they told me, and then for pa dum pa pam pam, I add one more finger here, second fret, and pinky at the fifth fret. The next phrase of the melody is played in octaves against the droning texture. Watch my hands as I play this. I'll break it down in just a moment. Two, three, four. Now there's a second 
second version that I'll go over in a moment that has a more of an advanced ending. It has more harmony to it. For right now, remember how we tuned the strings to octaves, okay? This is an A, this is a low A. So if you play the notes at the same fret, you're playing octaves. Later, we can fill that in with more chords. It is so fun to play in this tuning. Now we're just touching the tip of the iceberg of what's possible with this tuning for melodies and chord playing. In a moment, I'm gonna show you the more advanced ending, but first the tag, okay? This is the ending that takes you back to the top where you can repeat, add more rhythm, add different dynamics. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, will you do me a huge favor and share it with a friend? Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hope you'll subscribe to this channel to keep in the loop of all the videos right here for you at Ukulele Zen. Many thanks for you watching. The tag ending goes like this. Three, four, one, two. phrase, you could ad-lib all kinds of things there. What I'm doing there is going down the A major scale, open, fourth fret, second fret, open, fifth fret, fourth fret, second fret, open. Improvise around this. wonderful to explore this tuning. Right now, let's learn the more advanced B section where there are more harmonies. So what we're doing to add a little more harmony is we're taking those octaves and adding a note in the middle. I am placing my ring finger here at the fourth fret of the second string. Make sure that your hand is soft. Make sure that you can reach that angle with ease. If you can hang with this fingering, it's nice because then you move up to the next shape. Then the next shape, keeping those same fingers in place. All right, when we put it all together, it sounds like this. Just a little slow motion sample of what's possible. Now for the second half of this more advanced B section, I'm gonna be playing some descending harmonies. Notice the left hand fingerings. I'm gonna demo it for you right now. Two, three, four. <laughs> different possibilities for this solo. You could play the melody on the top string. You could also play it on the low string. You could finger style. You could play it with all the harmony. This is just ripe for improvisation and ad-libbing. Thanks for watching. I hope you and your families are having a joyful holiday. Please sign my mailing list down below to keep in the loop of my upcoming courses. Thanks so much for being here.
could have, of course, repeat this ad lib more. This is just one of many ways to play it. Have fun finding your own way of playing this. Make sure you check the links down below to get your copy. Thank you very much for watching. Wishing you a happy day. Good plan. Look forward to seeing you in another video soon.